Randomly flicking through the pages of an old atlas of Greater London, a new world revealed itself. This atlas of the Overlooked was richly marked with names written in italics that would be more at home on Tolkien's maps of Middle Earth in The Lord of the Rings than in the Master Atlas of Greater London. Elthorn Heights and Pitsanger sound like the land of trolls and orcs, but where the greatest jeopardy would be presented by my complete inability to read a map or pack any sustenance beyond a tube of Murray Mints. I set out to explore this other London and pinned a one-inch ordnance survey map of the city to the wall of my box room. It felt unnecessary to enforce a conceit onto my venture, such as limiting myself to only following rivers, tube lines or major roads. I also didn't fancy the more esoteric approach of superimposing a chest x-ray over the map and walking around my rib cage. I wanted to just plunge into the unknown. Ten walks, or what now appeared as expeditions, each starting at a location reached as directly as possible with the fewest changes on public transport, then hoof it from there for around 10 miles, although it'd be less about mileage and more about the experience. I'd aim to cover as much of the terra incognita on the map as possible, spanning the points of the compass and crossing the boundaries of London boroughs as I had done borders between countries. 